So anyway, do you like my sweatshirt, by the way? Mm-hmm. Do you know who made it? No, Tommy Hilfiger. Wow, you really are at a hundred percent shithead rate. Wait, is that like a, a Henley? Something, something Henley? No, Todd Snyder was the designer for um, J. Crew, but he insisted on too much quality, and it got too expensive for them. And it killed their profit margin. So after I don't know decades, they fired him. Wow. He did really cool stuff like the liquor store. You ever be to, ever go to the liquor store Mm-mm. in Lower Manhattan? I shouldn't have told you about it because you're going to go blow all your fucking money there because you're so bad at saving. But it's a really cool store that has high end. Mm. Uh, what is it? J. Crew stuff? Mm. Forget the brand. But anyway, so he does these one offs with certain brands. And right now, Todd Snyder's doing Champion. Mm. He's got great stuff. I like that. Yeah, well, it's out of your league, so keep your eyes off it. All but right. the champion sweatshirts are like recreations of the 70s ones. So I'm wearing a J. Crew shirt underneath my Todd Snyder. And I like to have just a little splash. Yeah, that's fun. A little splash of plaid there, you know? It's very 1950s American preppy, it's which is really what the mods were based on. They were all the Harringtons and all that shit you see and the short haircuts. They were being 50s mods. They, they were inspired by Steve McQueen. Uh, show some of the champion stuff, though. Okay. Are you on the Todd Snyder's page? Yeah. <clears throat> Todd Snyder, New York. Champion. They have their own little uh, tab now. Champion. Well, maybe you should View click all. on it. What are you doing? View all. Clicking. Waiting. Well, I'm not nuts about those. Mm-mm. Nor those. This is all champion? Mm-hmm. Well, it's all gay. Yeah, that's pretty wild. That's getting, pretty cool. That's, Italian that's, wool. Yeah, I can kind of get with that. I, it wouldn't be quiet if someone stepped to me in that. No, he, could, he would like That would be it. quiet. It would be quiet if the guy did the red and the blue, if he stepped to me. But, hey, if someone steps to me with that, they're going to get some. They're going to, like, get it. They're going to get it. They're going to get it. These are cool. Hi, I'm the most popular supermodel in the entire fucking world, and if you come up to me with a certain pair of shoes <laughs> that are only about 180 bucks, I'll start <laughs> sucking your dick. They are about 180, yeah. <laughs> um, These are pretty uh, affordable for high-end stuff. 118 bucks, sweatpants? No, it's out of your league, dude. Stop. I almost bought a $250 hoodie. You're kidding me. I, no, I didn't. I wouldn't have ever, ever, even if I have a million do- good dollars, I wouldn't buy 200 You can buy expensive shit if you can afford it. Here's how you buy things. Is this a good deal? Yes. For my, for my can I kids. afford it is number two. Okay, that was no. Do I need it mm-hmm. is yes. number three. Yes. You don't need a for my briefcase. Hoodie. For my briefcase. You didn't need a briefcase. What was the matter with your backpack? Thing is, ninety percent of New Yorkers carry their laptops around their backpack. Now the way my express suits are constructed, I meant I wanted them to last a long time. I'll put the camera on me, um, <clears throat> and it destroys the shoulder pads. I learned this from uh, going through the airport with my backpack on, and then I looked it up. I was like, "Am I not supposed to?" And it says, "Yeah, you don't do that." It's going to ruin the padding in there. And then you can't, unless you bring it to a tail and they crack the shit open, they can't reset that cotton in there. It's packed very particularly. And I'm not going to get an express suit fixed up. It's rid- ridiculous. But You know how many years it would take for a knapsack to ruin your suit? In one thing, the, the, the shoulder pad shifted. It now has a bump in it. I could, I could show you. My gray suit is fucking ruined. Basically. So, <clears throat> and it also takes away from the aesthetic when you wear... A backpack with a suit. Okay. And I want to look like a businessman. I got my nice shoes. I want to be a businessman. You know that's a quote from Gary Coleman on Arsenio Hall? Where yeah. he goes, I want to be a businessman. I do. It's almost as good as, what do you mean a businessman? You don't know how to, you gave a bum 10 bucks the other day. Yeah, it's an investment. <laughs> <laughs> investment in your own retardation. Can we, I've been meaning to get to this, uh, speaking of you being a fuck up. Um, mm-hmm. Is there a way we can access your Instagram stories? I, I'm a boomer. My stories, I don't know. I don't. Do think they go away? Stopped. Yeah, they do. After 24 hours. Um, yeah, no, I don't see that. No, I can't. Maybe my archive. Well, let, let let us see what you're looking at. Because your Instagram stories are so shit. What are you? I'm talking constantly about? amazed. I assume an Instagram story is like, 
hey, everyone, check it out. I just caught this frog. Uh, I've never seen markings like this before because it's red. something that you don't want to fit in an Instagram thing. Anyway, bye, frog. And then he goes away. I get that. You'll just have you with a tie and some shitty song in the background by like Tool or something. And I'll just be like, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. They're little vignettes of expression. But you're not expressing anything. Mm hmm. Oh, Will you stop horking tobacco into a fucking Gatorade <laughs> container? It's so disgusting. You're making me seem like the worst. You are the worst. <laughs> Show the camera what you're just sp spitting into. He's... <laughs> I apologize. That is disgusting. Oh. It doesn't help that I look the most Damn disheveled it. I've ever looked. Like this You're is... worse than a woman... You're worse than menstruation. Menstruation is a curse... That leads to a miracle. Ooh, I but like uh, you just said, I, I'll take on my own menstruation, thanks, without the creating life part. I need nicotine. Otherwise, I can't concentrate. <sighs> so this is for the show. This is an investment again. I don't want this in my lip. It's very, in, it's not convenient for me. But I do it for the show. Bieber has limes, one, three. Mm. Will you stop with the fucking spitting? You just did it two seconds ago. Right, one more. How often do you have to do it? I just don't want to swallow this particular batch. It's like it's every 10 seconds. This one's bad. Are you done with your disgusting fucking habit? Yes. Screwing on the top, putting it away. Justin Bieber reveals Lyme disease. Have you noticed Lyme only happens to losers? He is. Kathleen not a loser. Hanna, Justin Bieber, Ryan Katsu Rivera. Avril Levine. Avril Levine. Another shit stain on humanity. She's great. Why do you have to make things so complicated?